Hello, my name is Janie, and I'm going to show you how to add the Immersive Reader extension, which has a lot of cool tools to help kids read. Um, so the first step is to open up your Chrome browser and search for Chrome Web Store. Oops. And I like doing it this way because it's the same across all devices, like on a Chromebook, on a PC, or a Mac. You can open a tab and search for Chrome Web Store and then open it up. And we're going to search for Immersive Reader. There it is. Use Immersive Reader on websites. So the way you use it is um, on any website, you can highlight text and then uh, right click to access. So I'll show you that. But first click Add to Chrome and then say Add Extension. And you can just close this box. And now you should notice that there is a little book, black and white book at the right of your address bar. So now I can go to any website and use the tool to help me read. So I'm going to go to uh, ducksters.com and I'll just choose an article to read, um, let's say animals, and I'll choose cheetah. And now I can highlight some text. So maybe I just want to read this paragraph. And once you highlight the text so that it's blue, right click on it. So students can do that on a Chromebook by clicking with two fingers on the touchpad or um, doing control click on the Chromebook. And then you'll see this menu here. So now I see that same book icon and it says, help me read this. This will launch the immersive reader you um, can just click next tip to get rid of these the first time you open it up. And so this is what it looks like when you log in for the first time. Um, I see that there's a play button here. If I click on it, cheetah is a large cat it starts and reading. No I can pause it. Um, I can go to this little icon to the right that says voice settings. And it's, I think, a useful feature is that you could slow it down. So I go closer to the turtle. If I want to slow down the speed, I can change it. Uh, from female to male and then let's try it again known for being the fastest of all the land so that's a little bit slower some more uh, features that are nice here if i go to text preferences that's where i can enlarge uh, the text if i need to with this slider i can um, right now the spacing is um, there's a lot of spacing i can change that if for whatever my preference is I could change the font, whatever is easier to read. And um, for some students, changing the color is helpful. So they might prefer a black background or yellow, whatever is easier for them to read. Um, on this middle tab, I could um, highlight certain uh, parts of speech. For example, if my class is studying verbs, I can have them turn that on and then all of the verbs will be highlighted. Um, let's see, syllables here. It broke up that word into syllables if I turn that on. Um, the last tab here is really useful. I like, um, well, picture dictionary is really neat. I'll show you that. Uh, by default, it's on. And so if I click on a word, it will read it to me. Reach. It also shows me a picture of what it is. And it's not for every word, but a lot of them do have pictures. Right now it's only in English, but if I go to this little book and choose a language to translate to, it will show it in both languages. So let's go here and choose Spanish. So again, I went to the little book here and now I'm choosing a language. There's Spanish. And then if I toggle on document, it's going to translate all of the text that I highlighted. So now I have these two tabs. I can go back to original English or I could switch to Spanish and go back and forth. So now it'll read to me in Spanish. And if I click on a word, now it's in Spanish and English and there's a picture. Once I'm done reading this text, if I want to go back to that original article, I can click on this exit arrow 
and then I could choose another paragraph. You could add as much text as you want. You could copy an entire article and then right click. Um, it's just your preference. For me personally, I'd rather do one paragraph at a time and read it and make sure I understand it and then go back. But it's, uh, you know, your preference. Anyway, that's Immersive Reader. I hope you enjoy. Use it on any website where you would like to translate or slow down uh, the text speed if you want text read to you. Bye.